I'm Olivia Harnish, Chief Executive Officer of Imar Hospitality Group. Good afternoon. I appreciate you taking a moment to speak to Breaking Travel News today. We're here in Razal Kmart for AHIC 2019. How would you describe the mood among investors this year? Well, the mood is uh, surprisingly good. Um, I'm, uh, I'm quite surprised about that because in Dubai, there's a lot of talks currently about how challenging the market has become and how uh, average rates are declining. Um, the thing is that average rates have been declining for several years, that's true. But I always like to look at uh, what's happening in the rest of the world. And then I realized that uh, Dubai is still a pretty good market. We have our challenges. We need to uh, operate hotels differently. We need to build hotels differently. Um, because it's going to become more competitive in the future than it was in the past. I think in the past we were blessed uh, with uh, almost continuous growth rates. This will change, um, but overall it's still a good place to be, Dubai. And I believe you're on, on stage to tackle those topics as well, and the, uh, the evolution of the business models hoteliers need. What can you tell us about that? Well, the thing is that from an owner's perspective, nowadays there's more uh, options uh, on the table. So if I'm an owner and I build a hotel, um, I, can, I can choose a branded operator, like uh, in the past. Um, I can also choose a non-branded operator. Um, there is a lot of uh, uh, so-called third-party um, operators, management companies that are very present in the US, uh, increasingly so in Europe, and they're coming to the, uh, to the Middle East, uh, who come without a brand. So as an owner, you can choose to, uh, to uh, take a franchise agreement, and have your hotel operated by, uh, by a third-party operator. You can choose to have your hotel not branded because it has a great name, a great position, and still have it operated by a, by a white-label management company. Or alternatively, uh, you can choose to operate it yourself. If you have the infrastructure in place, you just take a franchise agreement. So any option is possible, any scenario is possible. And I think it's a sign that the market is maturing um, and uh, that owners really have the choice and the ability to make, uh, to find a structure that works best for them. And Imar itself is evolving. Um, you have a number of brands in the portfolio now which help you meet um, different segments of the market. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're present in uh, virtually every segment of the market, starting with uh, Row Hotels and Resorts, which is uh, our mid-market proposition, doing extremely well. We have five hotels already in operation. Uh, the sixth one is opening uh, this summer. Then we have Vida Hotels. Um, which is our, our upscale lifestyle brand. Two hotels opening this year in, in Dubai. And then finally, um, address hotels and resorts, of which we have two hotels opening in downtown Dubai uh, this year too. So it's going to be a very busy year for Imar Hospitality this year. And something of a milestone year, uh, next year as well, 2020 and Expo. You're the uh, official accommodation partner for that event. That's going to be huge for the Emirates. Absolutely. We're so excited about this. Uh, we are the official um, hospitality uh, partner of Expo 2020. So um, we, will, uh, we will be present uh, in many ways. Um, on site, uh, we will uh, operate a hospitality tower. We will have a stand that we uh, are cu uh, currently uh, developing with Accenture um, and potentially other partners who uh, we are close to signing with, where we will present our view, our vision of the hotel of the future. So a lot of exciting things coming. What a great opportunity for Dubai to showcase itself as, a, as an open, technologically advanced city and to really foster our position as a, as a world-class destination. Well, hopefully we'll see you down there. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.